个这一刻你往那边看，那一刻你一回头，你发现了不同的景色，特别的美。We can meet the people around the world here. I'm very much proud that I'm doing course in this particular university. <laughs> It is a small city, but with traditions of taking care of the students. Well, I, I'm proud to say that uh, our lab has spun out a number of companies, and several of my former PhD students are now uh, working in companies, and uh, in several cases, directing companies. This is Uppsala in Sweden. In this culturally vibrant city lies the oldest university in Northern Europe. Since being founded in 1477, the university has been one of Europe's most renowned seats of learning. Many well-known scientists once walked these paths. Among its former students, a Linnaeus, who created the Latin names for all plants and flowers and Celsius, who invented the temperature scale named after him. In modern times, many celebrities, including Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, have been among its students. Internationally, Uppsala University is recognized as one of the best universities in Scandinavia and the world. Uppsala University is the oldest university in the Nordic countries and it draws at least uh, some of its strength from its history. Thus the well-established uh, reputation that the university enjoys is due uh, in no small part to the work of earlier generations. We have, of course, our eight Nobel laureates have all helped make the university now. Eight scientists from Uppsala University have been awarded the Nobel Prize. Vice Principal Nordgren is a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. He was a member of the Nobel Committee for Physics and the committee's chairman. Uppsala is a bit special uh, in the sense that it is a very old and traditional university when it was founded more than 500 years ago and at the same time it is modern. In an evaluation by international experts in 2007, more than 50 research groups at Uppsala University were described as world-leading in their respective fields. We can pride ourselves on having a very high level of uh, uh, quality of education in the, in the area of biology, which is my field. We recently won an award for the, the best biology teaching in Europe. Uppsala is located near Stockholm and boasts a population of 40,000 students, including many international students and professors. The university caters to the international student, with over 30 international master's programs. Ling Shen is getting a master's in ecotoxicology. Ever since she was little, she dreamed of coming to Europe. She's learned a lot, both in and out of the classroom. There's Well, actually, it's Italian way. Oh, really? She asked me. You see, she's standing by me, just uh, you know, watching, watching me, yeah. controlling the quality of pizza. 因为我个人比较喜欢做饭，然后就是跟别人学了很多很多，就是不同的菜系啊，各个国家的呀。They have lots of activities here. It's just so easy for you to make friends. You can meet a lot of persons and uh, you, can, um, you can go in, uh, in parties, uh, very nice, in a uh, roof party, corridor party. I heard 
of Sweden because it has a really uh, good educational system. I'm from Berlin in Germany. Here there are a lot of Swedish people like talking Swedish all the time. <laughs> but you get the, ch the chance to practice all that too. And uh, that's great, I think, in my opinion. What distinguishes Uppsala and gives character to the city is the active student life, which has a history of well-established traditions. One is the official student choir and orchestra. People from all over Uppsala enjoy the regular concerts at the University Lecture Hall. The student nation helps provide accommodation and hosts activities such as the ever popular banquets. Exclusive dinners are served with special themes, like the Lucia banquet, <laughs> celebrating the yearly Swedish holiday honoring Santa Lucia. In the sports teams, arts clubs, choirs and theatre troops, students make friendships that last a lifetime. I always wanted to perform or acting on the stage, but in Japan I, didn't have, I haven't had any uh, opportunities, so it was the chance to participate in the theatre group. There are student advisors in all the faculties. They work very closely with the students. Well, I want to create an atmosphere where they first feel free to, to ask me for any questions they have, big or small problems, big or small questions, and it should be easy to contact me. All of these organizations serve to make the quality of student life of the very highest. This allows students to concentrate fully on their studies. Well, Uppsala has a very nice environment because you can combine studies and also a lot of knowledge of research. Uh, for example, in my field, that is lightning, Uppsala University is very well known in that area. Uppsala University has nine faculties. Arts, social sciences, language, theology, law, medicine, pharmacy, science and technology, and educational sciences. Among some of the strongest subject areas are biology and information technology. What the robot is that, that we have a little bit of a robot that's moving around and measuring the communication quality and sensing the environment. The robot is better than human. We have been using human before and moving in sensors. They have like a, a, the mobile phone and that is using to read sensors when you're passing by information about the environment. Computer science getting into a much more broader field. So I think that skill of, of computer scientists in the future is going to be the possibility to integrate things, to make synthesis with different data fields. That's going to be a big difference from the computer scientists compared to today that are more focusing on the computers themselves. I really enjoy talking to my students. Uh, um, as I mentioned, uh, different students have different characters. Some are not as talkative, but uh, it's really a pleasure to stand behind the whiteboard and discuss some molecular problem and uh, bounce ideas back and forth. Typically, I, I think we have a very uh, proud tradition and um, I believe that we are one of the major European clusters in, in biotechnology, uh, uh, which is my area. So, so th this successful tradition of working together between industry and academia, I think it uh, has very uh, uh, long history, uh, um, maybe longer than in most parts of the world here in Uppsala. <laughs> 
So Uppsala was a very good uh, environment to start a company in. So from the academic group, we had uh, we had the basic ideas and the research to back us up. We had a lot of patents and, and ideas and, uh, and the university also contributes to a very good environment for, for example, mentorship when it comes to business development and competence in the, in the area of doing your business plan. And we also had a surrounding environment of other companies and competencies, uh, both financial and entrepreneurial, and that, that we could use. Um, and all this comes together to a very good environment. Xie Yi Yi wanted to be a scientist ever since he was little. He's come to Uppsala University because he thinks that this is the best place to make those dreams come true. Uppsala, one is it is the world's leading university. Because one degree has grown to a certain extent, its greatest achievement is always found in the research and development subjects. In other words, the future of society is found in the research subjects. It is more and more needed in the research subjects. Everyone, physicists, chemists, biologists, etc., and other subjects from different fields work together. This way, it will be more successful. Pierre Gilles Duchesne, when he received the Nobel Prize, it could be either physics or chemistry. So they're working in, in the um, borders between chemistry, physics and very often biology as well. Peter Englund, the permanent secretary of the Swedish Academy, is in charge of announcing the yearly Nobel Prize winner for literature. And in case you're wondering, yes, he got his start at Uppsala University. Well, this is the magic door. I started studying in Uppsala in 1980. An old university uh, city, an education and a graduation from the old university city, I, I think it always gives you a sort of uh, a bit of a head start. Den 13 december varje år så har vi Nobelpristagarna på besök och då får de skriva vår gästbok där och någon av dem förra året sa att han absolut inte känner sig värdig att sitta i Linnés stol men då tröstar jag honom med att säga att den brukar jag normalt sitta i, då känner han sig komfortabel och satt sig där. Sen är det också otroligt viktigt att våra studenter och våra anställda trivs på universitetet, att vi har en bra personalpolitik, att folk, våra professorer och studenter känner att vi bryr oss och att de är i en miljö där de kan vara trygga och känner att de kan utvecklas. Det är också en del av det, av det goda universitetet. Vad vi försöker göra på detta universitet är att försöka att, att verkligen få alla dessa enheter, alla fakulteter att arbeta tillsammans. För jag tror nämligen att man måste arbeta tillsammans för att kunna bearbeta framgångsrik alla dessa stora globala problem som vi står inför i den här världen.